Hello, I'm the Aspie Hyena. Please accept my apologies for the long delay in the continuation of my summer schedule. It's coming along, trust me, and it's well worth the wait. But today I wanted to share something personal that happened this Sunday afternoon just gone by. Don't know if you can see this, but there's one huge dragonfly here. And I'm trying to take it into my garden, take it somewhere safe. Come on, come on. Look, you're a very pretty dragonfly, okay? I mean, you're terrifying. But I just want to get you to a safe area. And... Fuck oh, me. Excuse my language, but fly me. I hope you don't fly off at me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I don't know if dragonflies sting or not. So, uh, I want to get you to a safe area. And, uh, you know, my front porch isn't ideal. What he needs to do is dry off because it is very wet. And I just saw you at the at the bottom of a neighbor's yard in a you know um, a driveway and it was only as you started to move that I thought oh blimey so I've got to find out what I'm going to do I'm gonna move very gently and try and get you to the to the back garden where hopefully you will be shielded some more, okay? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, it'll be easier if you just go inside. It'll be easier if you just go inside, okay? All right, it's all right. It's all right, I'm just gonna help you, okay? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, got him inside here. Really hope you don't sting. Please don't sting me, okay? I just want to help. I just want to put you in a safe area. Oh, blimey. How can you be both scary and beautiful? I mean, you are a beautiful creature. I'll admit that. But I want to put you somewhere safe. I don't know where to put you. I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't a clue about dragonflies or how to care for them. I mean, probably shouldn't, but I should just let you... Uh... Oh man, what am I going to do? Anyway, I'm going to find a safe spot for you, I guess. And just pray that you uh, have a good chance. Because you need those wings to dry out before you can fly off. You are huge. You are massive. Look at that. Wow. <coughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to pause. Maybe if I left you in here, you might stand a better chance. Um, I'm no expert, trust me. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm trying to help. If I can. Oh, my. And I'm just going to leave you in there for now, okay? I mean, look. I don't know if you're going to survive. I don't know how long you live for. But I just want to give you the best chance possible, okay? I'm sorry I can't do any more. I'm trying. I I wanna hopefully give you some space to get out of there. Okay, good luck friend. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. I said I'm sorry. Yeah, no. Oh, 
I know, I know. Eventually, I got it into my thick skull not to shelter a dragonfly where it is easy prey for bird life. You'll know what I'm talking about if you've turned on the subtitles. So I placed my new ringed friend in hopefully a safer spot. Lost you, sorry. There you are. Okay. You're on a safe spot now, mate, okay? Good luck, all right? I hope you're safe there. The sad truth is that dragonflies don't live that long. The lifespan is only between 7 to 56 days on average for an adult. I don't know if he's still alive. Even as I'm recording this on the night that I rescued him, I don't know if a bird has got him or if he was just waiting for a spot to pass away peacefully. When that number of days has gone, when those 7 to 56 days have gone, I shall know that he will no longer be here. It's quite a sad thought. I don't know if I made a difference. But in retrospect, perhaps in the end it's just a matter of dignity.